Well, evangelist Perry Stone has issued an urgent warning of a possible EMP attack that could be coming to America, in fact, coming very soon, saying that this thing is imminent, okay? So new information was just released a couple of days ago. A lot of this was uh, from Perry Stone's Facebook page. Now, a lot of times, too, these updates get taken down and everything like that. So fortunately, you know, some sites are able to grab them while they can before they're completely deleted by social media because, of course, they don't want all that stuff getting out. But here is the warning. I'm going to share it with you guys. Perry says, information is now being made public that during the past several years, the U.S. intelligence community did not have the full resources, either proper assessment as to the weapons development of the North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. I believe this threat was actually being downplayed in the Obama years as Obama refused to confront rogue nations in any manner but was a Jimmy Carter type, very passive and non-respondent to threats. Iran was given millions of dollars from Obama providing the Iranian government with cash to hire 7,000 more secret service police to arrest underground Christians, this information came from inside of Iran. The North Koreans were treated with kid gloves as a dictator developed its nuclear weapons. Now Perry goes on to say here that a couple of days ago a report was given to Congress warning them that Kim Jong-un had launched two satellites. Now two, two satellites whose purpose was to assist in a major EMP attack on America. This is very urgent here, guys. It was learned, it was learned that as soon as his missiles can hit Los Angeles, Los Angeles, guys, he's right there now, okay? Los Angeles, Denver, Colorado, and Chicago, and the U.S. power grid was the true target. The report continued to warn that should these grids be destroyed or made inactive, that without power, fuel, phones, computers, and transportation, 90% of Americans would be dead within 12 months. The problem with challenging Kim is the number of missiles that he can basically release within seconds on South Korea, killing millions within minutes, and his threat to wipe out Guam, and his threat to Japan and all three regions that we have military agreements with to protect in times of war. Now, then there is China, who supports communist North Korea. We know that. A nation joining China's border and the Russians, who supply weapons, parts, and material needed to make bombs. If we attack first, how would these two superpowers respond? It is interesting to note that in the scriptures, several prophets speak of darkness covering the earth and darkness over the nations. Prophetic students, they are asking, is this only a spiritual darkness on the hearts of nations, or is it a cryptic reference of a darkness due to modern warfare that will send the nations back to living as though they were in the 1800s? For the last three days, I have had a very heavy spirit about what I see coming. In California, the vineyards are burning, which in the time of biblical prophets was a warning to Israel who had turned from God to idolatry. Only a few are paying attention, and the rest mock these warnings, reminding me of Lot's sons, who died in the fires of Sodom. Pray like Abraham for an escape for what's coming. Christ told us to pray that we are accounted worthy to escape that which was coming upon the earth. Thank God for peace that comes through the Holy Spirit. So that is the warning issued by Perry Stone, guys. And it's this is a real thing. These are real threats. And, you know, like Perry said, you know, is that the sign that the darkness that was going to cover the earth? You know, could that be from a nuclear attack? It very well could be. You see, and he mentioned California. You see what's happening there with the wildfires. Guys are blazing out of control. The death toll, it is continuing to rise there. No rain in sight. California just earlier, actually just last week, Governor Jerry Brown signed an, an order to make California a sanctuary state. Not only that, but he also signed in a bill 
that would possibly jail people, fine people, for not referring to people in nursing homes by their appropriate gender pronouns, basically transgenders who are now in nursing homes. If you not refer to them by their appropriate gender pronoun, you could now be placed in prison. And right after that, we see these wildfires break out. You think the Lord is not trying to tell us something? You think the Lord's not trying to send us warnings of coming judgment? It's here. Be in prayer. Be in some serious prayer, guys. This nation has turned its back on God. We need those that still love the Lord, that still believe that His word is true, to really, really appeal to Him. That He'll spare this nation. Time will tell. If you're watching this video right now, if you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You can come into the kingdom of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for all of eternity. There's no greater decision that you're ever going to make than to give your life to Christ, especially in these times that we see before us right now. You can also email me directly, guys. My email, cardspan480 at gmail.com. I'll put that below in the description. Also, if you have any prayer requests, anything else you may need, feel free to write me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to pray with you. It would be my honor. All right, guys, I'll continue here to keep you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.